Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles. And today I want to do a little bit of a discussion with all of you guys about Latin names and wild plants. A lot of people think that Latin names are extremely important. Some people act like they are imperative to learning how to forage properly and identify the right plant. So let's talk a little bit about that and I'm going to give my opinion first and then I'm going to go into why they might be important and why they also may not be very important to foraging. The very first thing that I want to say is that I've learned almost everything I know up to this point without knowing most Latin names by heart. There's a few that I know by heart, but most of them I don't. And I know how to forage and identify plants just fine. Common names and Latin names are very different. Common names can change a lot from plant to plant, location to location, and some plants will have five or more common names, whereas the Latin name or the scientific name is going to be the same, kind of, but those change a lot too. Latin names can be very confusing for a lot of people, and I myself find them very hard to pronounce properly, adding to possible confusion. The reason I think a lot of people act like scientific names are imperative or crucial to proper identification is simply because they don't have as many variations as a common name might have. Like for example, if we think of lamb's quarters, it can be called lamb's quarters, goose foot, hogweed, pigweed, and a bunch of other different names. That can be very confusing and there's other plants that can be called hogweed or pigweed or goose foot so it can be very difficult. In my opinion though, if you know how to properly identify a plant and you're going through the steps in the right order, the name itself isn't going to be too terribly important as long as you know what plant you are after. Through the years that I've ran my YouTube channel, I have received quite a bit of flack from some people saying that my videos are dangerous because I don't give the scientific name or the Latin name. So I started adding those in my videos through text pop-ups and interfaces in the video. Sometimes I'll say it if I know the name by heart, but if I don't know the name by heart, I'll just add it in the video with the text. Sometimes I'll do that even if I do know the name because I don't feel Latin names are terribly important to proper identification. If you disagree with me, that's fine. I understand completely. We all have our own opinions and that's what makes foraging and basically freedom of speech so good is that we have differing opinions and we can share those different ideas. There are a lot of plants that I have learned without ever learning their proper scientific names. So I don't find knowing the scientific name to be all that important. However, if you feel it's important, please study up on that and learn those so that way you are getting what you feel is most important. Scientific names don't have a bearing on how you use the plant. They don't have a bearing on the features. What they do have a bearing on is what you're calling the plant. But like we've discussed with common names just a minute ago, scientific names are also changing. For example, lamb's quarters that we mentioned earlier used to be in the Chinopodium family, but they're moving it to the Amaranth family. So if the names are always changing, it becomes really confusing, especially depending on what books you have. Unless you are always having the most current information, it's going to be difficult to determine whether or not you actually have the proper scientific name. Same with the common names. Through all my years of foraging, I have never poisoned myself. Have I gathered the wrong plant before? Yes, but then I decided and learned that I had the wrong plant and I did not use it close call, but that wasn't because of scientific names or common names. It was simply due to my error by not looking at the proper features of that plant. I can look at any plant and I can give it any name I choose. That doesn't change whether its leaves are ovate or lanceolate. It doesn't change whether the margins on those leaves have teeth or lobes. The name doesn't determine any of that. The features of the plant do, and that is what is most important to proper identification. Now lastly, I want to say that scientific names can be extremely important if you are trying to go for 
something really botanical or let's say you're making a book or a guide, yes, Latin names and scientific names are extremely crucial for that simply because it helps the reader understand the totality of plants. But whenever it comes to just recreational foraging, they really don't matter all that much. So there's my opinion and a little bit of information on why scientific names aren't always important with wild edibles or medicinal plants. I thank all of you guys for watching this and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned.